Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 3 challenges for season 8. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so please excuse any mispronunciations. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are 3 challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of those three is a stage challenge and all together is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The first stage is, visit fatal fields and salty springs in a single match. The second stage is, visit haunted hills and tilted towers in a single match. And the final stage is, visit frosty flights and loot lake in a single match. The second challenge is Anoder Stage Challenge and is also altogether worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The first stage is, destroy 30 cacti in the desert. The second stage is, search ammo boxes in the snow. And the final stage is, search chests in the jungle. The third challenge of the free battle pass is, Place two different trap slot items in a single match and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you're at tier 100. The next four challenges are only for people that bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, search where the magnifying glass sits on the treasure map loading screen and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, Search 7 chests at sunny steps or fatal fields and is also worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The sixth challenge is, deal 500 headshot damage to opponents and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The final challenge this week is, get an elimination with an SMG, pistol, and a sniper rifle and is also worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. And that's it for week 3 so let's look at the details and show you the easiest and fastest way to complete them. You can also now put a challenge as your party assist so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with friends who are in your lobby. The first stage for the first challenge is, visit fatal fields and salty springs. For this one, go to salty springs so you can get a quad crasher and drive to fatal fields. The second stage is, visit haunted hills and tilted towers in a single match. Tilted towers might be too overpopulated to go to haunted hills after so maybe you should land at haunted hills and make your way over to tilted towers. The final stage for this challenge is, visit frosty flights and loot lake in a single match. For this one, you could go to loot lake as there are drift boards and quad crashers there by the RV. The first stage for the second challenge is, destroy 30 cacti in the desert. For this challenge, you can to go to the cacti patch as there are quite a few north of paradise palms and simply destroy 30 of them and if there isn't 30 cacti there, just go around the desert area. The second stage for the second challenge is, search 7 ammo boxes in the snow biome. This one should be quite easy. Just go to the snow area, places like Frosty Flights or Polar Peak, and search ammo boxes when you find them. The final stage for the second challenge is, search chests in the jungle. For this challenge, all you need to do is go to the jungle area and look for chests, just like the challenge says. The third challenge is, place two different trap slot items in a single match. This one needs some luck to actually come across a mounted turret, damage trap, launch pad, or campfire. When you find them, just place them down anywhere and it should count to the challenge. The fourth challenge is, search where the magnifying glass sits on the treasure map loading screen. The location of this is just southwest of Polar Peak around the trees. The fifth challenge is, search seven chests at sunny steps or fatal fields. Sunny Steps is most likely to have more chests as it is bigger so you could go there because of that. Just land there and search chests there. The sixth challenge is, 
deal 500 headshot damage to opponents. Don't even worry about this challenge as you will most likely get this as you are just playing games normally. You also could play duo or squads and knock someone and go to finish them while aiming your weapon at their head. The last challenge for week 3 is, get an elimination with an SMG, pistol, and a sniper rifle. For this challenge you can only use the following. Gray, green and blue suppressed submachine gun. Purple and gold compact SMG. Gray and green pistol. Blue and purple suppressed pistol. Blue and purple dual pistols. Purple and gold hand cannon. Possibly, purple and gold scope revolver. Purple and gold heavy sniper rifle. Purple and gold suppressed sniper rifle. This one is pretty straightforward. You just have to get a kill the said weapon. Just like the last one, if you are finding it hard to do this, play duo or squads and when you knock someone, finish them off with the weapon you need, while aiming at the head for the headshot challenge, and this should count towards the challenge. Also, if you complete all of that, you can unlock a secret battle star. The location for this is just east of the volcano. And that is it for week 3 challenges for Fortnite Battle Royale. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for weekly guides. Be sure to also comment whatever you feel like and we will be sure to read all and reply to most of them. Bye.